So that's it, you guys. I incorporated color and all of the plant sketches that I did um, for this spread. And I'm pretty happy with it, although I did mess up the gouache. I forgot that the gouache was still wet and I messed it up and put my hand on there. So it got smudged a little bit, but doesn't matter. It's just a sketchbook. Um, it's my anything goes sketchbook. It's what I use on a daily basis to practice um, drawing and illustrating. So I hope this was helpful. Um, the materials that I used, as you can see, I used different materials for each plant. For this one, I use the Karen Dash Neo Color 2s. Okay, and this one I used the Derwent Chroma Flow pencils right here, which I'm not really a huge fan of because there it they have other pencils called the Ink Tents with other which other artists rave about, and um, so I'm kind of using those until I'm done with those, and then I think I'm gonna purchase the Ink Tents. Okay, so this plant right here, <laughs> this funny looking cactus, um, I use the Cray Pass Expressionist um, Oil Pastels, which these are my favorite. These were the first oil pastels that I purchased. As you can see, they're very used. These are my favorite oil pastels thus far. I love these. And they're not very expensive. This this thing was about like 20 bucks and I got it at Michael's. And I really, really love the quality of um, these oil pastels. Okay, so moving on. This plant over here, I used my gouache palette. It is the Pelican gouache palette. This is usually marketed more to kids and schools, but it's gouache and it was inexpensive and I like it, you know, and I'm new, so I'm not gonna go out and buy um, really expensive gouache, you know. Um, I have a lot of budget friendly. I have a lot of art supplies, but a lot of it is budget friendly and when I get better, you know, when I use up my supplies, then, you know, when I re-up, you know, I'll upgrade to, um, you know, some name brand art supplies, I guess, or better quality, artist quality. But I'm pretty happy with the quality of the things that I have now. Okay, so the, um, this last plan I did with my Tombow. Um, brush markers, which I love these markers, okay? I love them. Um, as well as the Karen Dash Neo Color too. I really love love those crayons. I know they're called wax pastels, but they, they operate like crayons to me, and I really, really love them. And they're water soluble. So if I wanted to add water to this plant right here, it would give it like a watercolor gouache effect as well. Okay, so those are the supplies. These are the plants. This is my sketchbook practice. Um, I know it looks like it took me a long time in the video, but um, I felt like it took a long time because <laughs> I was recording and I was conscious of that. Um, but this is what I try to do on a daily basis. I don't, like I said, I don't color in my sketches all the time, but I definitely use pencil and ink on a daily basis in my sketchbook, okay? So I hope this video was helpful to those of you who are new to art, who are on your art journey as well, like me, and, you know, up-leveling your skills, learning new mediums. Um, understanding the mediums and knowing how to use them together. All right, thank you for watching and I appreciate your love and support. Everything you need to know about me is in the description, including my website where I do have a print shop 
that is open where I sell prints of my artwork that I have created digitally and traditionally. So go on over to martinefelton.com and go on over to the shop and see what I have to offer. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.